the Supreme Court heard arguments on President Biden's federal student loan forgiveness plan on Tuesday in cases that will decide the fate of the administration's $400 billion program and test the limits of the presidential power moving forward. Justices are expected to reach a decision by June. Our correspondent Susan Therani has sent us this report. Take a look. Hundreds of protesters gathered outside the Supreme Court carrying signs backing President Biden's policy on student loan forgiveness as the highest court in the country heard one of the most consequential separation of powers cases in American history. So I'm a daughter of Brazilian immigrants and so I don't come from generational wealth. And so I had to take out student loans in order to go to university. And so I have about $30,000 of student loan debt. And through Biden's cancellation plan, I will have two thirds of my debt canceled. And so for me, that's a lot of relief for not only me. Relying on a COVID related legal justification, President Biden announced his plan last August, shortly before the crucial midterm elections. His critics called it a naked ploy to buy votes from young people. Republican-led states were quick to claim he had overreached his authority and an appellate court halted the measure in November. Under the relief plan, $10,000 would be cut from all loans owed by people earning less than $125,000 per year for students who went to university with government assistance known as Pell Grants the relief would be $20,000. Several lawmakers from Biden's own party stopped by the rally on Tuesday to support his unilateral policy to bypass Congress, including Senators Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders. So today we say to the Supreme Court, listen to the needs of millions of struggling people. People who want a middle class life but are buried in debt, do the right thing support Biden's proposal, cancel student debt. Thank you all very much. The White House says nearly 43 million Americans hold $1.6 trillion in federal student loans. Meanwhile, inside the courthouse, Chief Justice John Roberts questioned the government lawyer on whether President Biden's student loan forgiveness plan was fair to those people who don't attend college, while Justice Neil Gorsuch questioned whether this plan had taken into consideration other expenses. For example, borrowers who had already paid off their loans or those people who had structured their lives on not going into debt in the first place. Susan Tehrani reporting from New York for Weon, World is One. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.